Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can probably tell, I have no eye makeup on because I'm planning to do a palette bingo. So the palette that I'm using today is this one, which is the NYX In Your Element Air Palette. And I chose this because, first of all, it's new and I haven't used this yet. And also because the colors in this are quite bright. So I thought that this would be a good palette to use for this challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick four shades from this palette and I'm going to count from... Here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this one is 1 and I'm going to randomize these using my phone. So I'm going to go and the first one that I get is number 5. So number 5 is this blue shade right here. And that is this color swatched right there. So the next color will be number 4. And number 4 is this purplish color right here and that is the second shade right there so the third color will be number seven and number seven is this color right there so that is the third shade swatched right there and the fourth and final color will be number four which i already had Number 7, which I already had, and number 8. And number 8 is this color right there. And that is the final color swatch right there. So I feel like the colors that I got are quite coherent, which uh, is nice, but it's not much of a challenge, so we'll see how I go, but um, these are the colors that I will use in this challenge. I will let myself use other shadows for my transition, and for that I will use my C palette. And that are the shades right here. So I kind of want to do a halo eye um, with this color in the middle, with this purpley light color. But I will start with going in with a crease color and this one is Hopscotch from Makeup Geek. And to apply this I'm using a 217 from MAC. that transition shade on my eyes um, and the next thing that I will do is go in with this purple color right here which is number four and to do that I'm going to use this flat packer brush that I have so this is actually the first time I'm using this palette so we'll see how it goes and also I'm putting this color on the outer uh, corners and inner corners of my eyes that together I'm gonna to go back with the same crease brush that I just used for the uh, transition shade okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply the light shimmer purple in the middle of my eyes I'm gonna use the other side of the brush that I just used the second shade applied and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go back with the first purple shade that I used and just deepen up the outer corners and uh, the inner corners okay so I'm kind of thinking about how I want to incorporate the blue into this uh, look but I'm thinking either to put it on uh, underneath my lash line or in the outer corner or kind of like a wing it out um, but what I'm going to do meanwhile is apply the silvery shade in my inner corners and to do that I'm going to use the MAC 210 brush. Okay 
Okay, I think I'm gonna start with applying the blue shade underneath my eyes um, and then see how we go from there. But the brush that I'm using is the number 7 Smoky Eyeliner Brush and I'm just gonna put that uh, underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use hopscotch again uh, on this Soeva uh, Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I think I'm pretty happy with my look, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, the same uh, MAC 210 brush, uh, just wiping off the silver color and putting the lilac color just a tiny bit on my brow bone. So I'm pretty happy with the look as of now. I'm gonna put on my mascara and lashes and I will be right back. So I'm back and this is the finished look. Um, I paired this with my uh, Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick in the tabloid, uh, which is a purpley pinkish uh, magenta color. Um, and yeah, I just applied some lashes and mascara and some nude eyeliner to my waterline. Uh, but I will zoom in to show you the final eye look. So this is the final look, uh, you can see it right there. Um, I am super pleased with this look. Um, I was quite lucky to get um, kind of coherent colors, but um, I'm super, super pleased with how it turned out. And I would never have paired the blue lower lash line with the purple, but I really enjoy how it looks. But I will zoom you back out. So that was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this palette bingo. Uh, I am probably going to do more of these. I'm perhaps not even going to use this palette again because I feel like I kind of want to experiment more with the like warmer tones and the green and all of that. So maybe I will do another one um, with this palette. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this and give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!